Well, good day, good day. We have finally made it to Gdansk, and this is a city I was most excited about visiting in Poland, and we're here. Yeah, we're here, and this is also the most northernmost city we're going to be visiting in Poland as well. So, oh my goodness! On that note, this morning we woke up at 4:30, and the sun was yeah. already up. Like it's crazy how early the day you got, starts. You gotta, here. you gotta love that. Anyways, we're really excited, and today we're gonna go out and explore a lot. Mm -hmm. Let's go. All right, so first up we're walking to the Basilica of St. Mary because it's just down the street from our Airbnb and it looks massive. It's huge. It's undergoing some renovations right now. So there's a lot of scaffolding going on, but hopefully we can still get in and maybe climb up the towers for some views. We'll see if that's even possible. Sam, ready to climb the tower. Absolutely ready. That's a cool surprise. I didn't think we could even get in. I thought there's. Yeah, with all the renovations, yeah. we thought it would be closed. This is exciting. Exciting. It's going to be 409 steps to the top. We paid eight zloty each, and we're climbing up the spiraling tower. I'd like to point out that we're only at 130. Still a lot more to go. So we are out of the tower. We're somewhere in the ceiling, I think. I have to say though, size 10 feet for women, that's a little too big for these stairs. I'm like tiptoeing up and I feel like I'm you're, gonna you're, slide you're down. You're a giant in Poland. You have giant, giant feet. Giant feet in Poland. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the staircase continues all the way up there to that wooden platform. We're hardly done. Whew. After visiting the Basilica, we walked over to the main pedestrian street in Gdansk, Dulga, also known as Long Street. Unlike most Polish cities, Gdansk doesn't have a main square, but this stretch of road acts as the equivalent with lots of vendors and performers along the way. On the west end of Duga, we came across the Amber Museum, which sounded a little unusual, so we bought tickets and went up. Here we learned the history of amber trade in the Baltic, and we also discovered that the tower that now houses the museum was once a prison and torture chamber. But anyways, this museum is pretty cool. So the first few levels, like you get to see different exhibitions where you learn about amber and culture, amber and jewelry, because Gdansk is really known for amber jewelry. And they actually have one entire street dedicated to amber shops. So we're gonna head there later, but we're visiting the museum now. And another cool thing is this museum has a lookout point. So we're gonna get more views of the old town. All right, Sam, so we've enjoyed two different vantage points of the city today. Which did you prefer? Yeah, the first two activities that we've done here. Yeah. Basically, we've got amazing views of the city. I actually preferred this view from the museum. Yeah, same. You kind of got a better like uh, overview of the main pedestrian area, and also you could see the church really well from there. Yeah, plus there was less climbing involved. It wasn't quite as scary. <laughs> climbing, climbing up the church, the cathedral, was more of an experience. Yeah. yeah. Not done with museums just yet, our next stop was the Historical Museum of the City of Gdansk. I think we spent more time staring at the ornate doorways, ceilings and staircases than we did at the exhibit itself. And check out these ceilings, you don't see this every day. Alright, so we're here on the river and there's lots going on. <laughs> there's a lot going on. There's all kinds of boats out here. Yeah. There's people kayaking. Uh-huh. There's people on these kind of like, they look like motorized cars. Yeah. That's yeah, hilarious. <laughs> and then you have like the big tour boats and That's we right. saw like a, I don't know, something that looked out of Pirates of the Caribbean, like I an know, old I know. We've seen just about every ship. We've seen just about everything on this river. So yeah, we're just gonna walk around and, and See what else we can find. And here we have Gdansk looking all postcard perfect. Here we also saw the medieval crane which was first mentioned in text in 1367 and was at one point the biggest working crane in the world. It's open to visitors but we had already climbed up two viewing towers earlier that day so we decided to skip this one. Next it was all aboard the SS Soldek, a Polish coal and ore freighter which is now a ship museum. 
Well, ahoy, ahoy, matey. How are things aboard matey, your ship? Matey, matey, This is my ship, and I've let you come up to the top today, only for a short tour. So let's make the most of it, and then I'll kick you off. Okay, so Saturday night here in Gdansk, and we wanted to go to our local bar, but it was yeah. packed. It was packed. I so we've packed. ended up so on a boat. On a boat by the water. And I saw this place going for a walk actually this afternoon, and it looks so cool. Like they do yeah. fish and chips. I've also ordered that too. Yeah. But I've just been like thinking about this beer all day. <laughs> doing a lot of walking. <laughs> I really wanted to enjoy some nightlife here in the city. So yeah, I mean, it is 8 30, but it's still Yeah, it's still daylight. Yeah. So cheers to a Saturday night on a floating restaurant. Cheers! The fish and chips have arrived. Yeah, I mean, how could we head this north and be right, right on the sea and not have, you know, not fish, fish and chips? I love fish and chips. Ooh, drizzle, I love Man, it. I've been eating fish and chips all my life, especially when I when I've gone to Atlantic Canada. They specialize in that too. So I yeah. know what good fish and chips taste like. Yeah, all right. Standard. Let's dig in. The fries aren't bad. Let's try the fish. Ooh, skin and all. Mm. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Really tender. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> He's a mmm. And since we're on the topic of food, we need to show you a milk bar we really enjoyed. Alright guys, so we've been meaning to take you to a milk bar for a while. Mm -hmm. There's a really famous one. It's called Neptune's Neptune here. Neptune bar. We've been going to milk bars in every single polar yeah. city we've visited. Yeah. And this one has some really good food. I know. Like we've been really impressed with the quality. This one is a little different in the sense that they have like a, a display menu for yeah. you that you could just point at. Mm -hmm. And so we we're just like, ooh, that looks good. Ooh, okay. that looks good. No guessing. Yeah, we All don't right. we don't so, have a, a great idea of the names of these things, but but we can tell you what it looks like. Yeah. So this one is basically a cutlet. I think it's yeah. a pork cutlet with some cauliflower, carrots, potatoes with dill. We also got this creamy soup. It looks like a potato-based soup with some green beans, dill, carrots, and other veggies. Yeah. Ah, uh, Sam couldn't resist some cake this early in the morning. And you know, it's 9.30 in the morning. This is yeah. right now. <laughs> this is um, pretty embarrassing. And to but drink, it's going to be more like a brunch, right? Yes, yeah, compote. This, this will last us a while. To drink, we have compote. Yes. Which, do. I don't even know how to describe this. It's kind of like if they made like strawberry jam and took the syrup and kind of added some water and turned it into juice. That's what it It's kind of a natural like. fruit juice that's been yeah, watered down a bit, yeah. It has like real chunks of strawberry in there and it's really good, but we just don't know how it's made. Mm. It's good? So good, so good. But yeah, let's dig in. Alrighty, mister. Alrighty. So Dig that, right in. Let's try, let's get and try the cutlet first. Grab it with a bit of cauliflower. Nice little breakfast mm. going on. Mmm. A really nice cutlet. Chuck it out. That's quite creamy. Ooh, and we can hear the church bells tolling in the distance. Must be 10. Mm. Is it good? I love the dill and creamy soups, it's just so nice. Is it is it fairly thick? Is it a thick soup? I mean it's not like the thickest cream soup, but I mean it's it's not a broth, that's for sure. <laughs> it's good. Mm. And dessert wise, right, the dessert. check out that wow. cake. That, it's got some meringue on top. I think it might have yeah. a fruit filling. Oh. 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 Is that good? Wow. That is very decadent. It does look decadent. Look believe, at the size of that. I can't believe I'm having that. I know. In the morning. It's like a spongy cake on the bottom. Yeah. You've got meringue and like some kind of cherry sauce drizzled. Yeah. All over. But, but anyways, it's just been a fantastic meal. And like like you said earlier, we've been eating at milk bars throughout our entire trip in Poland. Yeah. That's something we highly, highly recommend. You get really, yes. really good food good prices, and it's just very satisfying meals. On our last day in Gdansk, we walked over to the European Solidarity Center, which is about a 15 to 20 minute walk from the old town. 
The museum tells the story of Solidarity, a Polish trade union and civil resistance movement founded in 1980 at the Lenin shipyard. This was the first union not controlled by the Communist Party and it's a fascinating museum to learn a bit more about the history. And that's a wrap for our Gdansk travel guide. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it gave you a few ideas of things to do in Gdansk on your visit. You know the drill. If you have any other tips or suggestions to share with travelers, feel free to pop those in the comments section below. Happy travels and until next time.